Hey guys, and welcome to another GTA 5 car review. And today I'm giving you a look at my custom Lampa Daddy Felon sedan. So we need a review of the Felon. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, take a look at the interior next year, take it for a test drive, and show you all the amazing aspects of this awesome vehicle. And today I'm at Luxury Autos in the central area of Los Santos, right in downtown, uh, on Mad Wayne Thunder Drive and the Rockford Hills. And big thanks to them for letting me use their lot. So let's go ahead and start it up and let it run. This vehicle features remote start doing your action menu and vehicle remote functions. You simply go in there and turn the engine on. You can also turn on your headlights as well as your change your radio station. As well as turn on your neon lights if equipped. This vehicle is not equipped with us at this time. This vehicle has a red exterior with custom black uh, five spoke wheels with custom tires. I'll go more in depth on those later on. Has a custom black interior. Awesome sound for that 3.7 liter V8. Let's go ahead and get it in third person as well. Leather wrap steering with white contrast stitching. Your push button ignition located behind the steering wheel. Power drive to a six speed automatic transmission. So let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. The Felon was introduced by Lampa Daddy a few years ago to define the world of sedans that are sporty. Originally designed with a, with a 4.2 and a 4.7 liter V8, this year, the all, the all new Felon features a 3.7 liter bi turbo V8, all of which were tuned by Grotti. However, where the, where the old 4.2 and 4.7s were purebred Ferrari engines with some badging changes out, this Lampadati engine is developed and built by Lampadati, but is tuned by, by Grotti instead of being completely built and set up by them. Of course, no longer, no longer being through. Uh, Grotti's group anymore as Grotti was a part of the Shyster group the uh, Lamba, Lamba Daddy is now more based on Shyster and uh, Bravado offerings the engine however remains from the uh, Grotti tune this vehicle is bright red as I said with custom black five spoke wheels with a sports collection with the Endo 32 double R tires this vehicle features a custom splitters on the front and rear, as well as a ram air hood. So let's go ahead and pop the hood. As I said, lies under, what lies underneath the hood is a 3.7 liter bi-turbo V8, tuned by Grotti, built by Lampadati. It produces a whopping 500 horsepower at 8,000 RPM, making it one of the most powerful uh, sports sedans to date. Originally, the, the Felon was sold with the 4.2 liter V8 and a 4.7 liter V8, both producing it in the mid 400 range. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a sound clip of the vehicle. Pretty awesome sound. Give me, give you guys a bit of a light show. It's intoxicating how awesome that is. On the interior, you have four air vents, or, th or actually two air vents. You have right in the middle, right above the controls. Your radio is located off on the top of the dash instead of below, and it features your standard stations. And the gauge cluster, your speedometer is in the middle with your tachometer on the left and your fuel and temperature gauge on the right. Your power windows and door handle switches are in the door cards as typical. You also have five leather seats, a rear bench, and these two front seats. So let's go ahead and take it for a test drive. The turning circle is not as wide as the 9F Spider I recently reviewed, but it's still really cool to drive around and is a really awesome multi-passenger vehicle that I definitely recommend for those who don't have access to an Italian car as I was invited, actually invited to a car meet earlier today and did not have this vehicle at the time and it was Italian car only so 
I spent most of my time in that lobby trying to find an Italian car to bring, but uh, in the long run, didn't get it until later on. All right, so let's check out the trunk. Oops, that's the wrong button. There we go. In the trunk, you get quite a lot of space for a supercar, and especially for a sedan, very typical. It produces quite a lot of space. I'd say about five or six cubic feet. So I hope you enjoyed this in-depth look at the Lampadati Felon. Thank you guys again for watching. Like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.